UFC Fight Night Burns vs. Brady took place on September 7th and pulled in at least $7 million from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting contract. And while it took place in the UFC Apex so there are no ticket sales to report, the total revenue would have been boosted by sponsorships and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters take home? The Nevada State Athletic Commission no longer discloses fighter pay information, so while Venom sponsorship and fight bonuses are released, the purses I'll be showing in this video are just projections based on previously disclosed earnings. With that said, let's jump into the first fight. Every fighter that's under contract, if you want to tell the media what you're paid, that's up to you. The feature prelim saw Rong Zhu find his range early against fellow lightweight Chris Padilla as he blasted him with solid kicks and strikes. Padilla returned fire and the round ended up being very close, with Padilla actually ahead on the strike count. Zhu continued to build momentum in the second with heavy low leg kicks and scored a knockdown off of one in the opening minute. But near the end of the round, Padilla landed a vicious elbow on Zhu's left eye and another a few seconds later, causing Zhu's eye to immediately swell. And the fight was called off 4 minutes and 14 seconds into the second round. Zhu made $20,000 to show and $4,500 in Venom sponsorship, also known as Fight Week Incentive, for a total of $24,500. While Padilla brought in $12,000 to show and $12,000 for the win, $4,000 in Venom sponsorship for $28,000 on the night. And now kicking off the main card, Trevor Peak outstruck Yanal Ajmuz in the first round of their lightweight bout and whipped on a couple of dangerous looping punches. But Ajmuz scored a beautifully timed takedown midway through the round and was able to control Peak on the ground. In the second, Peak continued to show off his superior striking and while Ajmuz won the wrestling exchanges, Peak's defense was solid as he avoided being held down. Potentially needing a finish going into the final round, Peak ramped up the aggression, leaving himself open to Ajmuz's wrestling, yielding similar results to the previous rounds. When the scorecards were read, it came down as a unanimous decision victory for Yanal Ajmuz. Peak earned $24,000 to show and $4,500 in sponsorship and took home $28,500. While Ashmuz made $12,000 to show and $12,000 for the win, $4,000 in Venom sponsorship, and a total of $28,000. In the second fight, Bantamweight's Matt Schnell and Cody Durden wasted no time getting into the action as both men landed flurries of blows in the opening minute, with Schnell perhaps landing the cleaner shots. The pace continued throughout the round, leaving both fighters bloodied. Shortly after the second round began, Schnell dove in for an ill-advised takedown attempt, with Durden quickly wrapping up his neck. Danger tried to roll out of the choke, but was forced to tap, handing Cody custom-made Durden the second round victory. Schnell left his gloves in the octagon after the fight, apparently signaling his UFC retirement. Schnell received $68,000 to show, along with $11,000 in sponsorship pay, for $79,000. And the winner, Cody Durden, brought home $58,000 to show and another $58,000 for the win, as well as $11,000 in sponsorship and a $50,000 performance of the night bonus for a grand total of $177,000. That's not including any bonus he received for taking the fight on four days' notice. The third fight saw a stumble by Steve Garcia in the first 10 seconds of the fight, resulting in his opponent, Kyle Nelson, taking his back and immediately threatening a rear naked choke. Garcia waited for the right moment to reverse the position, survived an armbar attempt, and began raining down punches and elbows, several of which landed flush on his opponent's head. Nelson shelled up and survived the initial attack, but Garcia pursued the finish, landing a vicious elbow to Nelson's right temple that flattened him, and earned Steve Garcia the TKO victory. Nelson missed the 146 pound featherweight limit by 2.5 pounds, meaning that while he earned $43,000 to show, was fined 20% of that for the weight miss. He also earned $6,000 in Venom sponsorship and took home $40,400. While Garcia brought in $45,000 to show and another $45,000 for the win, $8,600 from Nelson's purse, $6,000 in Venom sponsorship, and a $50K performance of the night bonus, taking his total to $154,600. In the co-main event, flyweight Jessica Andrade used her relentless pressure to keep Natalia Silva against the cage for the majority of the opening frame. Silva employed kicks to try to keep the distance between them and knocked Andrade down with a side kick to the chest halfway through the round. Both women landed shots, but Andrade's had a particular crack to them. The pressure and pace continued into the second and third rounds, but Silva looked fast and outstruck Andrade overall 119 to 62. Andrade was unable to keep up with Silva's output and the judges gave gave every single round to Natalia Silva for the unanimous decision victory. 
Andrade earned a whopping $210,000 to show, along with $21,000 in sponsorship and a $50,000 fight of the night bonus for the biggest paycheck on the card at $281,000. While Silva made $46,000 to show and another $46,000 for the win, $6,000 in sponsorship pay along with her $50,000 bonus and went home with $148,000. If you're enjoying the content and want to keep up with the latest videos, take a moment to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Only 7% of the people watching this video are subscribers, but you could change that and help to grow the channel in the process. And finally, number 8 welterweight Sean Brady defeated number 6 Gilbert Burns by unanimous decision. The first two rounds took place primarily on the feet, with a sizable chunk coming in the clinch. Neither fighter was able to keep the other down for very long, and Brady racked up a significant edge in the total strikes. In the third, Burns had most likely his best round, landing several brutal strikes and elbows. But the fourth and fifth rounds went back the other way, as Burns continued to hunt for the knockout blow, while Brady controlled the clinches and outstruck him 200 174 to 76 overall. Burns made $143,000 to show and $21,000 in sponsorship for a total of $164,000. And the winner Sean Brady took home $55,000 to show and $55,000 for the win along with $6,000 in sponsorship and a grand total of $116,000. That's all for this episode. Any corrections to the numbers I've shown will be listed in a pinned comment below. As always, thanks for watching. See you next week for Noche UFC O'Malley vs. Dwalish Vili.